Hi guys, thank you for coming to Spiritual Project Management Webinar Day 3. I'm Yuan and thank you for joining me today. Let me ask you a question. Are you starting now to own your journey to the PMP exam and don't know where to begin? I'm sure that you have no ideas about that and that's why should you join our webinar in full hour to figure out. Recently, we have four days course for Spoto Learning Registered Learner. The topic cover what is the PMP certification, hot certification in project management, PMP certification process, and how to pass PMP in 14 days. The webinar is intended for anyone who is the early stage of their PMP exam pre preparation and help you prepare for the PMP certification exam from scratch. Watch the screen and let us tell you more about it. In today's topic, we will go deep into simple steps to earning the PMP certification, mainly focus on the requirement of PMP certification, the PMP exam process, share the broadcast, and let your friends and relatives know more about this great opportunity. Don't forget to like and follow our social media official page on YouTube and Facebook for more updates. Okay, to begin with, I would like to make a brief introduction of our company, Spoto. With the mission of change the state by studying built for a better future, Spoto was founded in 2003. Spoto is dedicated to becoming an IT online platform worldwide, and we have been specializing in IT certification and provide short shots past material and practice tests, training technology professionals at the world's largest companies for over 19 years, like Cisco, Dell, Accenture, Oracle, Amazon, Tencent, and Microsoft. And by December 2021, Spoto serves in more than 152 countries and regions, building the diversified ecosystem of content, course, service, employment in online education. We launched over 300 products and helped over 550,000 learners obtain their target IT certifications. And the worth is showing of things is that over two, sorry, over 10,000 PMP holders are from Spoto. And besides, our instructors are as passionate about what they do as who they do it for, and they are committed to your success. They are the most experienced professionals in the IT industry and have spent decades carefully creating our learning materials with your training journey in mind. We have helped many learners post the exam and they were happy to study with us. As you can see the review of us in this platform. Now let's go back to today's topic, simple steps to earning the PMP certification. The Project Management of Professional Certification is a globally recognized pro project management certification that tests a candidate's ability to manage the people, process, and business priorities of a professional project. There are over 1 million PMP certification holders worldwide, according to the Project Management Institute, which administrates the certification. It is applicable to product managers in a variety and industries, including health, construction, information, technology, and businesses. In order to get the certification, you will have to meet the experience requirements and pass a certification exam. Here is the step-by-step -step guide to getting a PMP certification, and I will simply divide it into three steps. The first one is Step 1 meets the PMP certification requirements and apply to take your exam and finally book and take the PMP exam. Before you can take the PMP exam, you have to make sure you are eligible. You need either 35 hours of project management course training and at least 36 months of project management experience if you have a 4 year degree or 35 hours of project management course training with 6 months of experience if you, ha if you have an associate degree or high school diploma.
The PMP certification is valid for three years, and you need to spend 60 hours during the time frame on professional development activities to maintain it. Otherwise, you can sign up to take the exam again. So, you know your PMP certification eligibility, you meet the experience requirements, and you meet the training requirements, or you have to sign up for the course that you will let you meet the training equipment requirements. So, your PMP eligibility also requires you to show you have had 35 contact hours of project management training. <clears throat> But how to get 35 contact hours of project management training? Don't worry. If you can't instantly think of the project management course you have done, firstly, go back through your professional development, development records and see what's there or project management related training from your entire life contact towards your total. For example, if you take a two-day project management class when you were fresh out of school, then you already have 16 contact hours, even if that was 20 years ago, as long as you still have the record on the course and an attendance certificate, you can count the hours. And the most easy way to get is to join Sploto PMP training. After training, you can get 35 PDU certificates, and if you meet this certificate criteria, you are eligible to take the exam, and you can move on to the next step. And step two, gather your information and apply to take your exam. Make an account with the PMI and get started on the application for PMP exam. This will Entail sharing basic personal information like your educational background as well as details on the project you've worked on. For the project you've led, you need to provide where you've worked, your role and responsibilities, duration of project. Also, for the training you've completed, you should provide institution attended, courses completed, and qualifying hours. Also, KMR has provided the PMP application checklist. You can join our study group. We will share the checklist in the group. And please keep this information in mind as you complete your applic application. Remember to run through the points below to make sure you have everything covered. Firstly, the project management entrance represents professional project work experience only. I haven't included experience such as the following examples, which are not acceptable or on professional wedding, academic research for a degree granting program, creation of a new settler, home improvement project. Secondly, all of the projects you've included are listed individually you should not have listed multiple projects as one entry. Next, you should have included the true title of the project or basic description of project pro purpose, not your role on the project in the title field. Next, each of the project descriptions are high-level summaries of the project in total. Then, your project entries do not include routine, operational, or administrative tasks and responsibilities. Next, you should accurately have indicated the number of team members who particularly in this project and the budget for the product. That's all you need to check and confirm during the application. Once you've approved, you'll pay the exam fee and schedule a test. Your application will be reviewed and then you will need to pay an exam fee if you are qualified to move forward. The member price of the PMP exam is $405 and the non-member price is $555. Once approved to take the exam, you can schedule your exam time and a testing site near you or you can take it online. Administrators on the short Secure a platform using proven exam de 
delivery technology, the online exam is exactly the same as the virtual administrator at the test center. The same quality, the same questions, and there is even no live product. The only difference is you can take it into your pajama with 24-7 testing options to ac accommodate your schedule. You can take the exam date or night, or your need, all your needs when you are ready to take the exam needs to schedule your online or enter basic exam soon as appointments are limited and feeling fast. A computer will with a webcam, a reliable internet connection, a quiet space where you can spend a few uninterrupted hours. For the exam preparation, the through coursework on your on several exam prep provides recommended spending 60 to 120 hours studying. This can take several months depending on the depending on how frequently you study. And if you want to pass the PMP effortlessly, you can choose Spoto to help you prepare and pass the exam. For the details, you can contact our study group admin for details and don't forget to join our study group. Click a link on the comments on section and join now. So what's on the exam? Research indicates that employers will need to fill nearly 2.2 million new product-oriented roles each year through 2027. This means skilled project managers are high in demand. The PMP certification is designed to by project professionals for project pro professionals and validates that you are among the best highly skilled in people. 42% of exam composing a title less than half of the exam. The people section includes questions on leading and Building teams, managing conflicts, supporting virtual teams, monitoring the other related topics, emphasizing the soft skills you need to effectively lead a project team in today's changing environment. And process 50% of the exam, the process section tests you knowledge on the methodology of seeing a project through a completion. You might be asked about managing budgets and other resources, scheduling, handling changes in the product, and determining the best methodologies for the project, running, reinforcing the te technical experts of successfully managing projects. The business environment portion of the exam details broadly with the more business-minded aspects you have to tackle as a project manager like compliance, de delivering value, and supporting organizational change, highlighting the connection between product and organizational strategy. Probably half of the content represents predictive product management approaches, while the other half represents agile or hybrid approaches. The research contacted through the job task analyst validated that today's project management practitioner worked in a variety of project environments and utilized different project approaches. Accordingly, the PMP certification will be reflective of this and will incorporate approaches across the value delivered spectrum. About half of the examination will represent predictive project management approaches and the other half will represent algebra or hybrid approaches. Predictive algebra and hybrid approaches will be found throughout the three domain areas listed above and are not isolated to any particular domain or task. PMP certification validates that you have the project leadership skills employers. The new PMP includes three key approaches. The first is the predictive, second is algebra, and the last is hybrid. The exam is comprised of eight, 118 hours, sorry, 180 questions. The previous exam was 200, but the same number of questions will be scored. 
and 213 minutes to complete the exam. One additional break for a total of two 10 minutes break for computer-based tests. No scheduled breaks for prepare-based exams. And questions will be combination of multiple choice, multiple response, matching toss bars, and limited fill in the blank. Let's see prototype question to learn more. After you know the exam type, the more important one is how to prepare for the exam and how to pass the exam, which we will show it in the last day of the webinar. Please stay tuned and keep watching our live webinar. Supposed to have many years of experience in project management and already helps many aspirants pass the PMP exam. Choose Spoto, it can help you to tackle all of your problems and passing the exam is a challenge but not impossible task. Now we have created study group for you, so please check the link in the comments on section and join us today, starting learning right away. Please join us tomorrow at the same time for the following topics. Okay, see you next day. Bye-bye.